So, you know when your skin is not flawless? Urgh, it's just so frustrating and ang it's just like, it just drives me nuts, like I can't even describe it. And I wanted to teach you how to cover your acne with makeup that is all from the drugstore because you may have saw this thumbnail in trending, which holds Desi in the video, she's so pretty. So she was teaching us like how to cover acne, but everything was kind of expensive, but it was really good tips. And then I was like scrolling the comments and people were saying like, whoa, this is like $600 of product. And then I was like, light bulb. So that's this video, how to cover your acne with drugstore makeup. First things first, I feel like skincare is always first, so I kind of wanted to show you what I use for my primer as well as my skincare, because my skin was really, really bad, like here's a photo, oh my gosh, I was just like so mad, I was always like picking at my face, I was always popping every pimple, I was just so irritated, and I feel like I was definitely very unhappy at that time. My skin is still no way like perfect, um, but it's definitely a lot, a, a lot better, it's a lot flatter and just more healed. Besides the two that I kind of irritated while I was, you know, <laughs> but um, these products really calm my skin. Uh, these are Face Reality skincare products. Also, I will not be linking Face Reality down below because you cannot get it online. I can link their website, but you can just enter in your city and your state and facial place, and then a bunch of places will pop up. Call them around, see if they have Face Reality, and that's how you will get Face Reality because you can only get it from like a professional. So yeah, today I'm gonna be using the Face Reality Hydro Balance Hydrating Gel. So there's no harsh chemicals or anything that's gonna irritate your skin. It's just gonna really clean out your pores uh, while you're wearing your makeup. So I'm gonna apply this and oh my gosh, this feels so good. So I use this as my moisturizer at night and in the morning and also as like my primer. So I'll put a link down below to a bunch of ingredients that are just super, super nasty that you should definitely make sure that your makeup products do not have because your skin will thank you, trust me. You do not wanna have the ingredients that will be linked in the description bar. Next is the Luminaire Concealer, but it's actually a foundation, but everyone says it's a concealer as well, because it really is not a foundation. Like, look at this tube, right? I don't know why they call it that, but this is actually not drugstore. So, this is my belief. The first makeup product that you put on your face, that's what your skin is mainly gonna absorb, and you want it to be good, because you don't wanna get more pimples from the concealer you're using. So, that's the reason I'm recommending this to you. This is the best concealer ever. I've not found a better one for acne prone skin. It covers, it actually clears your skin while you're wearing it, it does not break you out. Um, so definitely splurge on your skincare and the first product, makeup product that you're putting on your face. So I'm just gonna take a really tiny amount, you barely need any, and I'm just gonna dot this on my skin where I have like hyperpigmentation and redness. And then I'm just gonna pat this in with my fingertip. Then you may notice when you're blending stuff out, you're like, oh, I still see some pimple -y stuff, which is not cool. Which that pretty much means your pimple's at the worst stage, so it's all the way out, and it's kind of harder to conceal with your finger. So that's when you take the little tiny, it's idiot's idiot's brush. Uh, this is a detailed eyeliner brush from Luxie. It's a 219. Like, it just dots it right where you want it. So I'm gonna go right on the pimple. Do you see how I just dotted it right on top of the pimple? The rest are just freckles around it, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes the difference. T, um, but I'm just gonna dot it on the areas that I'm like, ah, I can still see it. Okay, then after we've dotted it on the pimple, you're gonna press it into the skin, like really, really press, and boom. Okay, it's a lot more concealed, it's a lot more full coverage. This guy, I know is gonna be a little stubborn, so we're gonna fix that a little bit. But at least it covers it a tiny bit more and then we're gonna go in with it and like lock it in. And then sometimes, like every once in a while, I get this like really big pimple. Not a lot, but it's like cystic acne, so it's like kind of the worst. Uh, so what I do is I take my concealer and see how I went around the pimple? That's kind of where the redness is gonna start to spread because your pimple, your pimple, that'd be gross. Uh, your pimple naturally oozes, especially if you fuss with it just a tiny bit, and that's what creates the redness around the pimple. So you definitely want to conceal around the pimple so then it's less red throughout the day because it naturally oozes. Then it's time for a tiny bit of foundation. I don't use a foundation every single day, I'll have to say, but when I do, the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion is definitely my favorite because I've literally like gone through all the ingredients. There's only one ingredient very low on the list that's like a little miffy, but everything else is amazing because most foundations, woo, they are not good. You don't need to use a whole lot because I feel like since you've already concealed the places that you really, really need to with the Luminaire Concealer, um, then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of foundation just on the areas that I don't want to apply like a really thick, full coverage concealer on. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of my L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. 
and just go a tiny bit on the cheeks so I'm not covering my freckles which I love so much but you really do not want to go over your breakouts with the foundation because we already have pinpointed it with our little concealer so you really don't want to go over it and mess it up again because then you're gonna have to do it again um, so just put foundation where you have not concealed but if you really have to do a very light tapping motion so that it's not gonna disrupt 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 the concealer <laughs> Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I would recommend just like really savoring your Luminaire Concealer and just putting it on your breakouts and then using this under your eyes because this is super brightening and lifting. So Instant Age Rewind, good job. This is so good, I will not lie. It's actually really like one of the best concealers. See that really like lifted my eyes? I really enjoy it. It doesn't give a whole lot of coverage. It's just a lot of brightening and um, yeah, it's really, really nice. It's very lightweight. Powder foundation is next. To be honest, you do not need two powders. I'm just showing you two also because this one is a little too light for me and this one's a little too dark. Um, so the first one I love the most is the Pixie by Petra Color Correcting Powder Foundation. You can get that at Target. And then we have the Super Stuper, Super Stay Better Skin Foundation Powder from Maybelline and you can get this at every drugstore or just about. Desi Parkin used um, two foundation powders and I so agree with her what she said. She said, use two colors, make sure you have the perfect match, otherwise it will not work and it is true. It will not because you're gonna look like you have just like a weird brown or white um, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of demonstrate for you. See, that's like the brown spot that you do not want. That means you have not the perfect shade of powder. So you of course then mix in a little bit of a lighter powder and make that work. So now, can you see my breakouts right there? Like they've kind of vanished, haven't they? They look now like just like little tiny freckles, which is, you know, always nice. I'm gonna do the same with all the pimples. And then on the areas that I just have like kind of pimples, I'm just gonna dab the powder on top of it just to add a little more coverage because I do like coverage where I need it, you know what I mean? Like I feel like you don't want it to peek through. Of course, set anywhere else where you would normally set. If you have more oily skin, then you can of course set the rest of your face, but use more of a packing motion instead of a swirl because that's gonna remove the coverage from your breakouts that you have worked really hard to conceal. And then I also go like where I'm gonna put my um, bronzer. Uh, I'll show you that in a few seconds. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. This is actually out of this world because it, it kind of replaces a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. It's all in one, but it's not glittery. So it's just like a nice glow. Um, so I'm gonna take it on my brush, pop a little of the excess off, go on the back part of my cheekbones, and then blend upward. Upward, inter, in, in, inward, inward, yeah. See how it gives you almost like a filter of a glow? I really, really love this stuff so much. Then you're probably like, highlight. I would stay far away from highlight, personally. I think that highlight with my skin, or well not always, it depends on the day. If my skin is a lot better that day, then maybe I can wear a little highlight. But the reason why I like this so much is it gives you like that nice radiance so you don't look actually like flat matte. But highlight kind of exaggerates like your pores, your texture, and especially pimples. So you work just so hard to cover your acne up and then you're gonna put highlight on. But if you don't have uh, pimples on the tip of your nose, then you can of course highlight right there. I think that's always so cute when people have a little tip of nose highlight. And then also on the cupid's bow. But if you have breakouts there, then don't highlight because it's just gonna make it look bigger. Um, but it's nice to kind of accentuate your features eyebrows I feel like they're definitely like the curtain to your eyes I actually used to get breakouts all in my eyebrows like I'm not even kidding I wish I had a photo but I don't think I do um oh my gosh though they are just they were oh they're so pimply so gross um and I think it was like a brow product that I was using I feel like it was the Anastasia clear eyebrow gel which is so amazing but kind of a bummer but if you have breakouts in like your eyebrow hairs this is the essence make me brow it's not very good English um, but it's a really good product in general just like the gimme brow then because most likely you won't have any breakouts on your eyelids uh, of course enhance your eyes because your eyes are so important you can see people people can see you through them um, so I'm gonna just take my covergirl true blend bronzer and then I'm just gonna take that on my finger and just pack it on the center of my lid and then buff upward just a tiny tiny bit kind of opens your eyes up, give them, gives them a little lift. Then mascara. Uh, this does not have to be not comedogenic, which not comedogenic also means like, I'll put it right here. Comedogenic is bad. Non-comedogenic is good because that will not clog your pores. But you know, you don't need a mascara that won't clog your eye glands. <laughs> Magic. 
right? So good. I feel like my eyes already look so much better. Anywho, now I just go for like a very natural lip product. This is the Mineral Fusion Clear Lip Gloss. That is the makeup look. It's really actually pretty easy. There's not a lot of products that you really need for it. Um, you just, you know, you gotta have a little patience. It might take a few times for you to do it, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, acne is normal. Trust me, when I had really, really bad, or well, it wasn't really that bad, but like, you know, like a decent amount for me at least, it was so horrible. Like, I, could, I didn't feel like I wanted to go out anywhere. I just felt like everyone was looking just at my acne. And remember, most of the time people aren't looking at your acne. Um, yeah, I love you so much, and bye. Huggy huggies!